Good morning, everybody. So coming out to feed the goats and the pigs right now. To another sanctuary vlog. Julie! Julie! Hi, Julie. Bye. Go look for food. So apparently Daisy's not the only one that knows that the goats drop food now. So Julie's on to it. Julie! Daisy! Come here, Daisy. Oh, look at that good girl, Daisy. She's so cute. And she's like, you don't have food. Here, I'll grab some food. Daisy. Come here, Daisy. Daisy, can you sit? Can you sit? Good girl. Oh, there's good girl, Daisy. Oh, there's good girl, Daisy. Look at that. Good girl, Daisy. Can you sit? Sit, Petunia. Oh, it's a good sit. Oh, there's a good sit, Petunia. Are you sitting too, Daisy? No. Disappointed. <laughs> yeah. Come on. No peppers? No? Ah, eh, she likes that. And the cantaloupe. Oh, uh, yeah, I could bring a coffee. So I tried putting Yue in the back, and then Kira up here in the front, just to separate them. I mean, they really get along. They kind of trade back and forth between their bowls, which is okay, but I'd rather, you know, one of them actually finish the whole bowl so they get all the different kinds of nutrition than to go back and forth between each and pick what they want. We got Hazel down here being crazy. Trying to figure out how to jump up there and get to UA's food. There you go, Lil. So we just fed the quaddies, so now we're gonna go in and clean up all the poop. Hi, Jelly Bean. There you go. You got blueberries and banana and cantaloupe and your soft bill pellets. You go big guy. You happy? Yeah. So if you guys take a look at his beak, you'll notice it is actually serrated. So that's how uh, when they bite you, they make you bleed. <laughs> I mean, you know, parrots bite really hard, like really hard. They have incredibly powerful bites and their beaks are also pretty sharp, but they're not 
serrated. And so with the Toucan, his is actually serrated for ripping things apart, like little creatures and fruit and whatnot. Um, he doesn't bite as hard as a parrot, like nowhere near as hard as a parrot does, but he'll bite and then shake. And so those serrations do their job. You're being crazy, Rocky. Look at him. See him all puffed up. Oh. You're doing your little happy dance, yeah. Rocky, you happy boy. Oh, you want pets. You want pets. You good boy, Rocky. You enjoying your food, Chloe? Yeah. So Gabby just made some fresh bird chop last night. So this is all kinds of crazy stuff. It's part of the uh, Bird Tricks seasonal feeding system for parrots. Yeah, Chloe looks very happy about it. There you go. You like that? You good girl? Hi, baby. So Chloe says, hi, baby. Chloe, hi, Chloe. And a couple other weird things that she only says on rare occasion. All right, so with the quaddies locked out, I'm going to go ahead and hide some marshmallows in here for enrichment for them. There we go. Put one in there. So this is something that I do about once a week. I already put one in the tire, put one in the rope, put one in this rope. Put one inside of here, fix the rope that they pull up here. Uh, I'm quite shove one in this. <laughs> oh, she's already found one of them. Let's see. Oh, I need new hiding spots. You guys already know. You're gonna look for some? You're gonna look at my boots. They know. Now they're really looking around everywhere. You trying to get that one out? That's a difficult one, huh? There's no marshmallows in my boots. You gotta go find them. There's more. You gotta go find them. They're out there.
What you doing, Lola? What you doing, Lola? Nope, here comes another quarry. So Lola will actually sit here and cuddle with me and hang out. But the other one comes over, she's probably gonna run. Ow! Yep. Lola! Lola, come here! Lola! Loli! Come here! Lola! Come here, Lola! Lola, come here. Nope, she does not get it. Come here, Lola. Come here, Lola. There you go. There's more if you look around. Oh, there it is. As soon as you lose, you missed out, it's already gone. That's why this is really good enrichment for everybody though, because even if one of them gets it, the other ones are gonna smell the leftovers and they're gonna be looking for them. Whoa! No jumping. No, no jumping on me. That one just jumped. They're not trying to hurt you, but when they jump on you, they just, obviously they're strong. They got a little bit of weight on them. They got really sharp claws. I mean, look, that's what they do. <laughs> so even if they're not trying to hurt you and they jump on you, it'll, it'll cut you up. What do you think, Olaf? We're going outside. Yeah, we're going outside. We're going the big aviary like a big boy. So we bring him in every night because we do have to give him his meds and everything and then bring him out during the day. You gonna go in the aviary with all your friends? Yeah. Ooh, who's that? Who's that? Is that Jelly Bean? Is that Jelly Bean? You yeah. know? Baby Emu! What are you doing over there? Hi, oh, baby. You're just trying to eat everything? You yeah. know? Look at his little wing. Look at that. That's his little baby wing. Where are you going? <laughs> Clover got scared. It's okay, Chloe. <laughs>
my baby finger ring down. Oh, he tripped. All right, so here we are. I spared you guys the four hours of shoveling I just did, but so uh, yeah, if you saw previously before I ended the clip uh, where the level was, so now we got this right here. We put in some PVC. Uh, well, they're actually uh, gutter drain pipes. Um, and so we have more at more of a horizontal angle here. So you see here too. And uh, the idea here is that that will hopefully um, kind of what am i trying to say like make it so they don't dig down as much we we don't want them digging down deep where the dirt can hold moisture like if you saw me talking about this in the last couple of videos hi clovey um what we don't want and she thinks there's already stuff in there look at that she knows <laughs> they're not in here yet clovey they're not in here yet but yeah, so if you saw in the other videos, we were talking about how there was too much moisture at the bottom. And so we're trying to prevent that. So we're trying to encourage them to go into the tunnels we already have that are more of a horizontal angle. Uh, we also don't have the ground up as high. Um, that was also recommended. So we're going to see. We're going to see how it works. There's nobody in here yet, Clovey. They're not in here. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting them to completely dig out these shallow little tubes and completely flip them out. So that's what I think is going to happen. But we're going to try. We're going to try what they recommended, you know, and see what happens here. All right. So we got all the prairie dogs here. So we're going to go ahead and release them. The little crazy things. Oh. There we go. Oh. We have successfully integrated all the prairie dogs. Oh, that's Coco. <laughs> no, I lied, that's Cheeky. That's Coco right there. Hi guys. Here you go. I'm gonna take the carrier. Are you being nice or are you being mean? It's Poppy. I know, but he's being weird. You being nice, Poppy? Oh, there's Poppy. He's being <laughs> nice. He's being weird for a sec. I don't know if he's going to get like territorial or something. Oh, you be nice, Poppy. Hi, right, Poppy. Oh, it's a good boy, Poppy. Oh, it's a good boy, Poppy. Oh, it's a good boy, Poppy.
That's definitely cheeky doing that. So much for the clean water. That's Coco. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountain. Secret tunnel. I'm putting that in the video. Okay. <laughs> what are they getting? Look at Poppy. He's the sweetest. Oh, Poppy. He's the sweetest one. Yeah, they look pretty happy though. They're having a good time. Oh, Poppy. Oh, this Poppy. Well, we couldn't have a day of work without the supervisor showing up. Oh, look at this big turkey. Look at this big boy. Hi. Hi, Comet. Hi, Comet. Oh, you strutting? You strutting? Look at that big boy. Look at that tail. You being a handsome Comet? You being a big handsome turkey? The beautiful sounds of singing birds. Oh, bam. Get that stick, bam. Oh, get that stick, bam. <laughs> you mind? So now we're doing our night checks. I don't usually show this in the videos, but we try to walk around at night and check on everybody. So here's Sami out right now. My truck's gone. And then Jet was over here running around. Hi, Jet. We're very excited to see the other dogs. <laughs> he, uh, we are gonna probably take him to the vet tomorrow though, because he has been constipated. <laughs> Well, we think. We think. I uh, know, uh, pretty positive, yeah. So since he's a desert animal, uh, we provide him water, but he doesn't really drink very much water. And so because of that, he gets constipated quite a bit. So we often put laxatone in his food for him. Um, but yeah, the last couple of days, he's shown a decrease in appetite and a little bit more uh, rotundness. And so I'm thinking that he might be constipated. So just in case, we'll take him to the vet. He was running around like he was perfectly fine a few minutes ago, so... And it looks like he did eat his food from this morning, but we gave him up fluids and a ton of laxatone yesterday. Yeah, so... Maybe, maybe just to be safe. Maybe he's totally fine. Maybe not. We just want to be 100% safe, you know, so... What was that word you used? Rotundness? Yes. Is that a nice way of saying his belly is really he's round full and of full poop. of poop? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so check on him. Um, we're just walking over here. We just checked on the parrots already and the parakeets and check on the kawadis. We're gonna go check on the red foxes now. Oh, I see some glowing eyeballs. These little monsters. I see some glowing eyeballs. Yeah, I'm up there. So it's only like 7.30 or something. So it's not like it's late and everybody's still kind of kind of awake, heading to sleep. Lily's asleep in there. Lily is Lily's favorite spot. You check on the foxes. How much you want to bet that Kira and Yue are on the top sleeping together and Hazel's on the bottom? Oh, I see eyeballs. Oh, I see some eyeballs. Oh, uh, yep, I see two on top and one on the bottom. It's Kira and Yue on top, right? Sure does yep. look that way. Yep. And this is what we keep saying. Kira and Yue are bonded, so they sleep together on top and Hazel just kind of does her own thing. Hi guys. Can you see their eyes in the video? I know, it's so creepy, yeah. Hi girls, we're just checking on you. Kira, Hazel. Just making sure you guys are okay, that's all. 
gonna start getting really warm. How did she get up here? I didn't see her go up, up the ramp. Yeah, she's crazy. Did you take a look at this? Me and uh, Erin were looking at it before, but I don't think you saw it. Saw what? The double door here. Mm -mm. And then like all of this looks so good with like the trees, the platform. So it's literally just identical to the other one. Doesn't it look so good? Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks awesome. So this will be for Hazel and the other fox. A new boyfriend. New boyfriend who was neutered, by the way. Yeah. So everybody's like, they're gonna have babies. No, he is neutered. All right, well, that's everybody. That's everyone. So we'll go ahead and wrap up the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, yeah, we'll see y'all next time.